Hi Libra, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Descendant sign. So whether you're a Sun, Moon or Rising sign Libra, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So quick note, um, if you haven't seen it, your May 2021 Taroscope is up. Your key to the week this week is the Hierophant card. This will very likely see you having to interact with some bigger institution. It may see some of you aligning yourself with a bigger institution. Uh, what I will say to you though, the, the Hierophant can sometimes bring up red tape. Uh, sometimes it can see us meeting... Um, one of the words, the, not the words, but one of the taglines that I like for this card is when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object, right? And I kind of feel like this week that may be happening for you. So this week, Libra, you are going to find something that maybe you can't balance out, that maybe you can't offer a different perspective on. It may be this is the option, take it or leave it. And that's going to see you having to maybe make a very tough decision. It might also be where you have to, uh, where you have to really, you know, pay attention to what's being highlighted to you or what's been set out for you as opposed to by you um, you know one of the ways that this can show up with the Hierophant card as well this can it can sometimes be where the power of your life or the control of your life isn't necessarily in your own hands uh, now in the Chiro Marchetti deck he's called this card faith and I wonder if this week, because you know the Hierophant can have all of those sort of religious uh, energies, overtones and connotations, I wonder if this week you are gonna have to muster your inner resources to deal with an outer, uh, an outer authority or institution in some way, shape or form. For your actions and options card, you have the hanged man, right? So we're an unstoppable force meets an immovable object and what is the hanged man this is there's two things that are coming up here the first one you're being asked to really observe where you have power and where you don't this is a week that's going to really highlight this to you it's also going to highlight to you whether you can actually do anything about it or not uh, and if you can't what is the the hanged man always says to us consider it a lesson in detachment but also it asks you to take a step back it asks you to take a moment to reassess reevaluate and really think about the position or the situation that you are in sometimes literally by doing nothing we get the outcome or the result that we want but that takes a lot of self patience a lot of self discipline and you know with the hanged man card that's a very, very spiritual card. And interestingly enough, the Hierophant is spiritual, but it's more on the religious side of that. So what are your rituals? What are the things that you do on a consistent basis? These are the things that are being highlighted to you this week. And they're also gonna show you as well where you can draw extra strength from, where you can find or take the power out of a situation uh, by choosing to control the only thing that we're ever really in control of, ourselves for your communications and conversations you have the seven of cups some of the information that you are getting this week is not necessarily the way that it actually is so if you have questions if you are on the receiving end of something that feels quite unfair or inaccurate, uh, this would be a week to really stand back, let the chips fall where they may. Uh, and the reason I say this is because you've got, the, so the Seven of Cups is bringing the confusing vibe, right? It also suggests that this week you might try to pull too many different parties or too many different opinions into one single situation. As the saying goes, too many cooks spoil the broth. Um, now, the fact that you've got the hanged man there as well, that can in itself be quite a nebulous kind of energy. So the fact that you've got these two cards here, it kind of suggests that whatever the situation is that you're facing this week, let it transpire as it must. The reason I say this is because when we're the one that stands back and lets the squeaky wheel get all of the oil and all the rest of it, there comes a moment where people realize, hang on a sec, you know, something's not right here. And it may very well be that by standing back and 
letting things go as they're you know as they're going uh, the mistakes and whatnot are going to be spotted and you will be vindicated by having not done anything for it if that makes sense um, so when it comes to those of you that work for somebody else uh, this would be a week where your boss might request something from you that you kind of think, you know what, either this is unfair or it doesn't feel right or, you know what, I don't think you understand what you're asking me to do. This is the problem. Sometimes people that have been in a position of authority for too long or been in a position of power for too long, they forget what it's like on the ground, you know, that some of their ideas don't necessarily translate. Unfortunately, this week you're being asked to do as you're told, not as you not as you please, right? Um, and the 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 thing that I would say to you is do exactly what you're asked so that when it doesn't work, you know, and it all kind of goes a little bit or awry, uh, you can say to your boss, you know, this is what I was trying to highlight to you. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you, you kind of thought you knew best in this situation. I am here as a support. Um, so maybe you want to take a moment to listen to me in future. <laughs> for those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, um, be sure that it's not you this week, right? Be sure that you're not the person that's kind of enforcing, you, you know, something that maybe isn't going to work. You know, if you have employees, if you are working with other people or collaborating with others, um, if someone's telling you that something is not quite right with the plans that you're setting forward, take a moment to ask yourself if this person is right or and you know if it's maybe your your own ego getting in the way a little bit um you know because you think this is the best way to go ahead it certainly looks like you're already pressed to uh, stretch too thin so just be aware of that because sometimes when we are overly busy and it's like well you know i've just delegated this to you you know i don't need a million questions about it if somebody's raising an issue with what you've asked them to do pay attention because they might be trying to save you a lot of time hassle and possibly resources in the long run for your money and materials you have the three of pentacles i'm going to say this um in some way shape or form it does look like there may be a financial lesson that is about to be learned. Now, this isn't to say that you deserve it or that you've done something wrong, but it may very well be that this week you have taken your eye off the ball in some way, shape or form. And with the Three of Pentacles, because it's it's learning, right? It's new, into, new information, new insight, new methodologies and uh, something to do with your money. Uh, suggests that maybe you are are maybe you've already made a wrong turn somewhere and you're going to need to backtrack or maybe just maybe you are going to spend money on something that isn't necessarily the greatest thing to purchase at this moment in time that being said if you are spending money on a course this week or anything to do with the learning sphere just be sure that you actually have the time to fulfill what the requirements are going to be for your um <laughs> for your physical health and vitality this is going to be your head uh, well I say your head this is going to be your all of your your bones your structure basically even your teeth um, you know all of that kind of stuff now um, you know that's not to say that you're going to have issues there but just be aware uh, when it comes to your home and environment um, look this week it could be that you know and yeah especially with the seven of cups and the hanged man um, this week, if there is something that is leaking water, if you've got a pipe that you know is leaking, if the washing machine is a bit sort of skew with or whatever, anything to do with water this week, get it repaired. It looks like there's something in the home that you've been, you know, saying, yeah, yeah, I'll get that fixed or I'll get a plumber in, I'll get da da da. And it's something to do with water, specifically to do with water. The reason I know that is because you've got the hanged man and the seven of cups. Um, now, I know you're thinking, but hang on, it's the three of pentacles. I don't have time to go into it. Just trust me, it's going to be something to do with water in the home that you have probably been putting off. It could end up being a very costly mistake just get it done for your love and relations you have the lovers card right so the love sector is a sanctuary right it's going to for those of you that are partnered specifically this is where you know the the relationship is going to be the biggest support it will be the place that you can come into to you know to find your sanctuary now it comes underneath the seven of cups so you and your partner may not necessarily be communicating in the easiest of ways but the love underneath all of that is definitely present and evident which is great 
Um, it might be one of those situations this week though where you, you know you're having a bad week they're having a bad week and that's kind of what you bond over um, and as long as that's not always the case do you know what I mean I think you know this could be one of those moments where you kind of say you know what we'll laugh about this next week when everything is fine for those of you that are single um, I mean if if you're meeting somebody it's very likely to be through some sort of academia or schooling or learning um, but with this much kind of confusing hard sort of no energy I would say this is not necessarily a great week to really do the alignment thing. Um, so just think about that. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. I hope that the week goes swiftly for you. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.